Hey folks, it's Pat from Bird Brain Model Reality again. Uh, today we're going to discuss soldering your rail joiners on your track. There's just a few things you need to do this. Number one, of course, you need track. Number two, and guys, I, I see a lot of comments and questions about the right soldering iron. There's really no right or wrong soldering iron. It's about other things that go along with it. This particular iron was a woodworking kit that I bought from uh, a shop for like $20. came with several tips for woodworking and solder. I prefer this small tip for my soldering. The next thing you need is, of course, solder. I use a 6040 blend rosin core, which you see here. Doesn't matter who makes it or where you buy it from. The next thing I use is flux, and I use a paste flux that looks like this on the inside. All right, it's just a white paste. And my applicator, and some guys use brushes to apply their flux, I just use a little bitty piece of balsa wood. So I'm gonna hand this over to my camera girl so that we can get a better, you can see a better view of what we actually do here. Let me take that. So we take our little applicator and we, cut, and we dip into here and get some flux. We just apply some right onto our rail where our, where our joiner is located. You don't need a lot. I do the other side, just like so, and just lay that on there. That's all you need. You don't need much. This flux is water-based. Now we're going to do the other rail here and get it ready, or the other section. I'm going to put some right here. And because it's water-based, it will dissipate quick. So a little bit extra won't hurt it. And put some right here on this side, just like so. Okay, we're good there. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our soldering iron. Now, this iron is already, already warmed up. But you'll notice my tip is black. So I want to tin the tip of that just a little bit. All, all I have to do is hit that solder... To get it hot to get it hot once that happens sometimes it takes a second there we go it's starting to go bear with me guys we'll get this in just a sec I probably should have cleaned my tip first, but there we, there we go. Just a little bit of the tip of there. That's all you really need. Now we're gonna come over here to our first section where our where our flux is. I'm gonna put the tip, the soldering iron, to the flux. I'm gonna bring my solder down to it. And what happens is that flux heats up and that solder starts to flow real nice and easy for me. Just like water. And nice and smooth in there. See how pretty that is? And under, remember this too, guys. You do not want to solder the inside of your rail. You want to solder on the outside only, not the inside. Applying it to the inside can cause your locos and rails and, and rolling stock to derail there we go okay now we're gonna do the other side and again hit the flux first and the solder into it and just let it flow it'll flow right down in there for us Just like that. We're gonna come over here and do this section as well. So we're gonna hit this, bring that solder in, and let that flow in there. We're gonna follow our iron a little bit with that solder. If you, and you can see that solder flow along that rail to make that connection for us. Just like that. Okay, and the inside. 
just like so. And run that along the rail, like that. It's nice and smooth in there. And you'll notice that the flux did the work for me and got it hot quick enough to not damage my plastic railroad ties on any one of those. In my next video, we will show you how to install your feeder wires to your track. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit the like and share. Have a great day.